I was healed twice of cancer through this ministry. I said, God, give me the right words to say. Ten years ago, I called Brother Bob. I was in my lowest head. I could barely speak, barely talk. God revealed to Bob that I had five tumors. Well, they disappeared. I could barely speak. Can you hear me now? Yeah. A year ago, I had a prostate problem. If you're a man, you have a prostate. Yeah. Really worried about it being cancer. Now, this is a miracle. Listen to this. First of all, a lot of people think, well, you don't have to go to church to get saved. That's true. But God commanded us to not forsake the assembly together. Come on, right. Amen. And God hath set some in the church. Amen. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Why? Now we all can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I believe in it. That scripture. Through the hands of the Apostle Paul, God wants special miracles. Some people have the ministry of laying on of hands. God uses anointed prayer cloths. He uses the spoken word. He uses a touch. Yes, we can all do that in a general sense. But I thank God this brother has a special ministry of laying on of hands. Speaking the word. That's Bible. The word of God also says, These signs shall follow them that believe. They, Pastor, brother, Evangelist Bob, shall lay hands on the sick. The ministry gift is in him. I'm saying this for a higher purpose, brother. God told me to do this. We need to promote the ministers of God. A lot of churches out there, baby. But they all ain't God. Now I'm being honest. I want to go where I can get a miracle. Amen. He said, and they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Bob preaches the word, and God confirms his word with signs following. I love this brother. Because he has God in him. When I was dying, I was at death's door. They gave me three months to live, man. You prayed a pair of faith that I'm still living ten years later and I don't have a cancer in my life. Yeah. Last year I was worried about my prostate, bro. I went up for prayer. First one with the doctor and they examined me and you know I was kind of worried. We all worry a little bit. Words of sin, God forgive me. I said, well, what is it? Medium. It's large. It's large. I said, God help me. I said, Lord, I know you're a healer. Sometimes we don't see the healing right away. I need some help, God. I said, I'm going to go up to where I know I can get some help. Forsake not the assembling together. Uh -huh. This is an assemblage. Yes, it is. God has set some in the church. That's right. God set him in this church. Mm -hmm. This is an assembly. God confirms his word with signs following. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care if the devil go yeah. right now. I'm not going to play on that. <laughs> I'm for real. Bob prayed the prayer of faith for me. My, you know what can happen when you have a large prostate. Most of the time it's cancer. I'll be clear. Check this out, man. Oh, God. They sent me to somebody so they could tell me what they wanted to do to me. Whether they want to cut out my prostate or give me chemotherapy. Or maybe something even worse. That doctor examined me, and guess what, brother? Yeah, almost one on the doctor. Small. Small. <laughs> Ain't nothing happened. 
My blood result, no cancer. You guys don't want to make a shout out that place. Maybe when I had to fight somebody, you would have thought I lost my mind. I told God I'm going to testify for you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And support the men of God. Everybody ain't got it. They all got it. Oh, we got it. We got it. Every person in here has got it. Amen. And you got to share it. Thank God for you, brother. You've been through hell in your walk with God. You've gone through a lot of things. And you stood and been faithful. And I thank God. Don't you love him? Amen. We love you, brother. So I'm still alive and kicking.